G'day everybody. Uh, the old man got this uh, Hyundai uh, 6 kVA gen set to replace that noisy ass Mosa and he realised that this is just as freaking noisy ass because it's a diesel. It's a uh, Hyundai 10 horsepower diesel. Electric and recoil start however you can't start it without power even pull start because it has a stop solenoid on it. Now for some reason this uh, control panel has gone dead it doesn't do as it's told anymore. The battery is good, we just tested that. But uh, something's going wrong. Could be something to do with that switch being loose. So I've already pulled out a couple of bolts. I'll get those next two screws out and I'll check out what it looks like inside. I've already found a manufacturing fault here. Uh, that grommet there is open. Um, there's nothing stopping water just going straight in there. So I'm guessing that's what happened. I'll get this panel off and then we'll check it out. Okay, so I'll find the trusty drill. Here we go. Oh yeah, I can already see red dust coming out of that. It did come from up north, so it wouldn't surprise me if this is absolutely chockers with red dust. And it's not so bad in here actually. I was expecting much worse. And we have a circuit board here with a lot of uh, free space, I should say. And so a wire hasn't broken off there. So there's an opportunity to tighten that up. Now it's not going to be on the AC side, it has to be on the DC side, which is only this little fucker here. The rest of it's the 220 volt side. It's your push button for your uh, push button for the uh, glow plug. Hmm, this is really simple. This shouldn't really go wrong. But it's going wrong. All right, I need to do a bit of troubleshooting. I won't bore you with it. Oh well, luckily there's nothing wrong in there at all the switch so it's not flopping around anymore. I like this uh, digital panel unit here. Volts, amps, kilowatt hours, hertz and uh, running hours which is really neat. Little current transformer in the back there. Nice. But uh, it's a simple fix fellas. There was a uh, fuse and a fuse holder which visually passes inspection. Doesn't look like there's anything wrong with it but uh, put it across the meter and it's stuffed. So uh, very lucky, cheap fix. Um, I would like to put a circuit breaker in there, but it's just not worth it. Just change a fuse, put it back together. Um, I like it when things are simple. So I'm going to find a new fuse, and then we're going to fire this fucker up. Uh, oh, I just greased myself on the forklift. <laughs> I also found this uh, broken earth wire. Um, could explain why the fuse blew. Not sure. Sometimes when uh, these earth wires uh, come undone, maybe uh, overloaded the old, uh, well, the 12 volt charging side anyway and blew that fuse. I find it strange it didn't blow the, oh that's probably a fuse for this charging socket here anyway. Uh, we're going to fix that and uh, put it together and uh, hopefully it runs. Mmm, we shall see. Oh well I'm happy. I get to use one of my, one of my toys, my little hydraulic uh, cable crimper. I got this a while ago from super cheap because it was uh, 20 bucks and it's bloody useful. It's really good. And uh, ever since I got it, I haven't had a crimp come undone yet. Um, if you guys work with these little crimps a lot, you'll know that, you know, if you don't get a good crimp on it, it falls off. Well, this little fucker seems to make sure that you get a good crimp. There we go, freaking beautiful, work of art. Now that can go back under that nut, and then I think almost just about ready to actually start the thing. Well, just out of luck, one of my scrapyard finds here, uh, a full bag of the exact fuse I need. 3AG 10 amp, 3AG 10 amp, sweet as. Hmm, that makes life easy when you've got it in stock. <laughs> okay, so we'll wait for the motorbikes to pass. <laughs> Anyway, um, we're all in business here. Um, 
yes, we're all in business. Um, the fuse has been replaced. That's what the display looks like. So it's 20.6 hours on this machine. It hasn't really done anything. Uh, something else that's interesting about this machine is, is I've never seen a diesel this small with a glow plug. It's got a glow plug, but it's not in the uh, cylinder head like you'd think it would be. It's in the intake. It's like an intake air heater. Um, I've seen various versions of these online. You guys probably would have seen the same ones. And uh, anyway, that's it. I wonder if uh, this thing's been blowing fuses regularly. That's why uh, it went to auction with only 20.6 hours on it. I really like that display. I want one of them for my bench. <laughs> no, I can't nick this one, unfortunately. Mm, too easy and sweet as. Thanks for watching.